in in the last class we were discussing the uh, the array methods and we stopped at uh, slides so then we are going to continue from um, the splice method the splice method adds or remove elements from the array if if I come if to demonstrate <coughs> demonstrate this, I'm going to create um, an an array of say numbers one, two, th three, three, four, five. Okay, let me do six. And um, I apply this splice method. The splice method takes um, three uh, uh, pa parameters or arguments, as the case may be. First, the position Daddy. index where you want yes. to slice out the number the number of items you want to uh, uh, cut out then the the let me say number or the account of items count of items to cut out then the la last one is the re replacement item so the item let me change this one to item to be replaced item to be replaced then the count of items to call out then replacement item so if i rep if i say i want to replace three with say 10 was position of three here yeah? position of three is zero one two index of two i'm going to put index of two right in there i don't want to cut out any any number for now so i will say zero and i want to replace this three with ten so i will say ten here so if i Print out console.log nums so that we we have a peek at what we have in in the array nums after the splice method. So we can see now that we have instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, we have one, two, ten. Because this has been inserted at that position. So you know this is a position of what zero index. Where's my pen? This is index of zero, one, and two. So at this position, I want to insert 10 inside. So, the index of where I want to insert and the value at that position, which is 0, 1, 2. Now I have 10 at that position. I do not want to remove anything. So, if I clear my screen, one thing you should know that is that this splice method actually returns something. Let me say, um, let me create a variable called vars. And if I say I should print, let's print this, this val.
when I run it, you will see that val is empty. Why? Because nothing is called out. Now, if I change this to one, it means that one item should be called out of this array. If I run it, now you can see that the the item at index 2 is cut out of this array and is now stored inside this variable val here and that is why I can even print it out so now norms contains 1 2 10 4 5 6 if I increase the number of items to be called out to see 3 and you run it you will see that from from this index of two, which is this, I'm cutting out one, two, and three from that point. So this three, four, five is now stored inside the ver this variable called vars. Then the remaining is now printed out here with ten inserted into index position 2 0 1 2 then 6 is now there is there any question is there any question no question no sir all right no problem no question join join as the name implies is to join all elements of array into a string now if i have um let me copy a fruit array for me can i copy no i can't show the copy so okay let me just copy this one So I have my fruit array. Now, if you look at the test, it says it joins all elements of an array in yeah, and converts it converts into a string. But if you look at this this um argument here, you will see that there is a comma right so you can use whatever separator you wish right you can use a dot you can use um underscore and so on and so forth but let us practicalize what we are talking about fruit dot join And if I now print, okay, let me see. Already I have that console.log. So you will notice that it has converted this array into a string and it is comma separated. How do I know this one is not an array? It's simple, it's because there's no square bracket. If I want to print <coughs> fruit, you will see <coughs> the square bracket right there. So I can see this is an array because of the square bracket. However, this one is a string. I can join this 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 the uh, the items with, with whatever separator I so desire. I can use underscore, and you have underscore there. I can use anything, right? Asterisks. Then I have the asterisks. 
that is what John is doing. We have discussed about sorting in the past. So reverse, it changes the direction of of the array, for example. If I use reverse here, and I print, so you can see that Okay, yes, uh, let me just move this one because it has changed it in place. We have banana, orange, and apple. But because of this reverse method, it's now, it, it started from the far right, apple, orange, and banana. That is what reverse is doing. I want you to note that reverse is not doing any form of descending order. Is not doing any form of descending order. Rather, it is only reversing the direction of the array. For it to be very clear, let me use numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If it is doing descending order arrangement, the printout should have been 54321. But because this is just reversing the direction, it's going to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As um, we discussed when we, are, when, when we were doing um, sorting, we said you need to apply sort first before you you apply the reverse method in case i want to to sort this in the in descending order i'm going i will need to do sort first but because it, because it, they are numbers i will have, i will use the helper function ab we have discussed this before now so please if you are not clear revisit that recording so we have that then we reverse so that is why it is now doing descending order now because the first thing this source we do is to uh, arrange in ascending order let me remove this one so that you see what i'm talking about if I run this, you will see it will arrange it in ascending order 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then what reverse is now doing is now to, pre to um, uh, print out the array from the far right, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If I run this, you will see 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Is there any question? No question. Um, I said, is there any question? Um, can you go back to one three four five something? What's your question? Well, I, I said that could you go back to the um to are you referring to this? Um, yeah. Okay, so what's your question? Uh, I don't understand when you say reverse on the fourth line. You said? I don't understand the, when you say reverse on the fourth line because it's copying, isn't it? You know, copying what's on the first line. You do not understand this reverse method? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to repeat. Before sort, what is what is reversing doing? Hold on, please.
Sorry about that. So now, <clears throat> what what is reversing doing? Reverse method. I have um, an array five, four, three, two, one. Right? Yes, what sir. reverse does is that it starts printing from the far right in that direction. It reverses the items. Instead of five, four, three, two, one, it prints one, two from here, then three, four, and five. Whatever the item is, it will start from the far right. Let's take another example so that in case uh, maybe you are being confused by the numbers. I'm going to use a string this time around. I have a um, Kiwi. Kiwi. I've got um, Apple. I've got maybe Orange. Maybe uh mango for it yeah i think that does enough now many people will think that reverse we rearrange this in in descending order if we are talking about descending order then that simply means that this would have been orange I'm right, M N O P, yes, orange should come first. Then mango next. Mango. Um, then kiwi. Then hapo. This is in descending order. Descending order. If I want to arrange these items, in their descending order, this is what I should get. Or orange comes in in terms of alphabetical order A, B, C, D, E, F, G to Z. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So you can see O comes after m so this should come first when you are talking about descending order m comes after k so m will come before k which is kiwi then k before hap a which is apple is that clear do you understand what i just explained joshua sir i cannot hear you yes sir good but Reverse method is not doing descending order. What reverse method is doing is that it will come to the far right and start printing in that direction to the left. So reverse will give you mango, orange, apple, and Kiwi. Is there any question, Joshua? Is there any question? No, sir. Good. So let us run the code. If I run this code, you will see that we have mango, orange, apple, and kiwi. That is reversing the array. However, if you want to achieve the descending order, I'm talking about this other one here. If you want to arrange your items in descending order, the first thing you will do is you need to sort it in ascending order. 
which simply means where's the pen again which simply means you sort this in ascending order using the sort you have to use the sort method right first to sort this in ascending order which will give you hapo Um then apple k which is kiwi kiwi then we should give you mango then orange this is sorting in ascending order so what reverse will now do is that it will now print from the far right to the left. So by doing so, you have achieved your descending arrangement, which is orange, mango, kiwi, and apple. And that is the more reason why if you want to arrange any stuff in descending order, you need to force sort before you apply your reverse. Reverse we only reverse method we only print the items from the far right to the left. So for me to achieve descending order, I will need to sort this first. Sort. If I print this, you will see apple, kiwi, mango, orange. Then I will now apply my reverse method. So which will now reverse it in descending order, which is now orange, mango, kiwi, and apple. Without this sort, you will only reverse the items here from the far right to the left. Is there any question now, Joshua? No, sir. You are no. clear? Yeah. Okay. So I move on. The heart method is relatively new addition to JavaScript in the, introduced in ECMAScript 2022. And it allows you to access an element at a specific index just like the art method in a string. At one, we return you banana because this is position one. At minus one, we start from the last item here because it's like going back to get the item. So this will return you date. So that is what at is doing it will return you the item at a particular index so you use the art method with the index of the item now to so slice hold on please Yeah, sorry for that break. Now, to slice is um, similar to the slice method, which we discussed earlier on here, right here. But the, the difference is just that while the slice will change the original array, this, the two slice will not. It will only um it will only create another array she says that the two slice method returns a shallow copy of a portion of an array into a new array object 
it is equivalent to slice both with the added feature of not modifying the original array it will not modify the original array as in this case now numbers if if i apply to slice to this number to slice should bring zero one two and three out it will slice two and three out of these numbers and it will now store it inside sliced number that is why you can see here that if you print the slice number two and three will be the output but at the same time if you if you print the numbers you will see that the number array is intact there is no form of modification on that numbers array and that is what the to slice is doing the same thing is to spliced the spliced is also the um, um should i say upgrade to the spliced method the why the spliced method will mutate it will mutate the original array so spliced will not mutate the original array it will rather create a new form of array and um, pass in the extracted uh, uh, extracted uh, data from that array into the new array while leaving the original array intact is there any question on what I just explained? No, sir. Good. No, sir. Good. So we have discussed this flat method, if, if you guys can remember, before now. The flat method is to flatten an array. Look at this example here. You can see we have nested array. We have one, then another array then an array again then inside that array we have uh, another array so now you can flatten this array into one if you look critically you will see that you have how many hierarchy here you have this one no this is two the second the second hierarchy then the third hierarchy so if you pass in three to be to 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 be okay i even i think it's two because two is right here but let us just demonstrate this one for us to understand it is better demonstrated than um than talking on it let's say i have um numbers and um I create this one then inside this array I have another array two three then another array maybe four five and inside this array I have another array maybe seven eight then I have this other array here, nine. Let me print out this array first so that we see the structure. If I come here and paste, print out, print out norms. Hold on, please. If I run this, you will see I have one, then this is an array, an array again here, and inside this array, I have another array. Now, I can apply, if I use the first flat, just flat, ordinary flat, without any default. Default is one, one, but there's no need for us to write the one. If I run this, you will see that the first hierarchy of a uh, nested array is removed which is this and this other one 
So you can see now that I have one, two, three, four, five, but I have this other array inside the inner array. So that is the reason why if I want to flatten this out, I will specify two. Flatten it to the in depth of two. So now I have that. And this is what is returned. Now, in one uh, in interview, right? <coughs> because so somebody in the past um, classes, two classes before you, at a, um, got this um, pro, uh, is it prometric? Yes, prometric um, test. And in there, she was told to calculate the average of numbers, the average of these numbers. So she got confused. She, she couldn't. Because what we treated in the class was just a flat array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where she can loop through, add, then divide the sum by the length of the array. But she got confused here. So next time, uh, now I need to highlight it here for you guys. So you can create um flat you know, just name it maybe flat flatten the array then you use your the flat method to flatten that array out so the, this flatten array will now be inside this flatten array variable so then i can now do my four I can iterate through the flattened the flattened array. From there, I will do my summation. If I say outside here that um, let sum equals zero, for example, so I can say sum plus equal I, once I have added the every item, then I can now say average, print out the average, console.log sum divide by the length of this array, which is flattened array dot length. So that will give me the array and the average value of that of this array is there any question no, is there sir. any question no question okay no, sir. so that is what flat method is doing all right what's the time so I, I want to be sure i'm not passing the time okay there's um 13 more minutes so now i move on you can use copy within right um this copies um data within an array if you look at this example okay let us just go through the test the copy within method as method sh shall, shall create a shallow copy part of an array to into another location within the same array without changing its length. This method is useful for re reordering element within an array. Now, the um, arguments are target, start, and end. Target is the index at which to copy the sequence to. The start is what the index from which to start copying element then end which is optional is the index at which to stop copying element right and that index is not included just like um, string if you want to slice maybe zero, uh, one to four it will get the items at position in this position one two and three not four will not be included 
So always have that at the back of your mind. So if you look at this exa example here, you have this number one, two, three, four, five, and I am applying copy within. As I'm saying that you start at where the target is um, index zero. Look at the target. It says the index at which to copy the the sequence to. That that's where the target is. So. And I'm saying that start copying at what? Index 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is index 3. Because I did not state any hand, I'm going to, it, it, it will copy 4 and 5, right? And because I've st st stated the target here, so it will bring this 4 and 5 into 0 index. And whatever data that is there in is going to replace them. It will not change the length. If you look at it, it, it will not change the length of the array without changing its length. So in order to keep this length at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will now replace 1 and 2. Remember, 1 is at position 0, index 0. And because we have stated index 0 here, it will copy 4 and 5 into and replace 1 and 2. That is why here you can see we have 4, 5, 3, then 4, 5. Let us quickly demonstrate this. I have an array. Let's say one, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven. So I have that array, and I try and I applied what the apply the copy with within method on it. Now I am I want to state that, okay, cop, uh, the target is index 0. Now, I want you to start copying at, say, 0, 1, 2, po position index 2, right? Me not stating the end, it will copy this 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11, and it will come here to position z uh, 0, it will now paste it there. So that means that I will have 5, 7, 9, 11, then 9, 11 again. Going by that, if I say I should print what is now console.log, console.log, print. So you will see that it copied at from 0, 1 to this index 2 to the end, 5, 7, 9, 11, which is this, it now, it's now pasted it at index 0, which is starting from here. So it will replace whatever item that is daring because the length must not be decreased. The length must not be increased. It also retain the six items in the array. Is there any question? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. All right. So, now, delete. Please, don't use this delete. The delete will create a space like undefined, you can see it here. It will create undefined. In instead of using delete, I only included it here for you to know that it exists. So always use either the to splice or slice to cut out item from your array. So because <clears throat> if you delete any at any item at a position in case in, in this case zero one i'm saying delete banana 
So it's going to delete it. You can see delete fruit one. It will remove banana. Then it will put undefined instead, which is not too good for your array system. So it is better you use the to splice method or slice method as the case may be. I hope that is clear enough. I'm going to stop here. So we shall continue by, by the special grace of God at how we can search through an array. Right? This is more like looping. We can search, get to, to know whether an item is present or available within an array. So then we do something with it. So is there any question at this stage before we call it a day? No, sir. All right. I am not giving any assignment. I'm not encouraged to give assignment since the former one has not been attempted. So please go and att attempt the, as the last assignment. All right. So see you on Tuesday by the special grace of God. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you.